Dad sets up camera to find out why daughter stays in room. The small household in Ohio was just like any other family in the area. There was nothing strange about them. That's why they weren't prepared for what was going on inside their home. Strange and disturbing sounds could be heard while they were asleep at night. They didn't think much of these sounds until something odd happened. Darren thought that his girlfriend was pulling a prank on him, but she denied everything. The couple finally decided to set up a camera, but they were not prepared for the disturbing footage. Darren decided enough was enough and put a camera in their daughter's bedroom. Marks had been appearing up and down his daughter, Natalie's legs, and he didn't know what was causing them. His wife Pam said that she didn't have any idea either. He let the camera record to gather the evidence. Now he was ready to take a look at what was really going on, but what he saw had him lost for words. For a year, the family of three had been living in Darren's mother's guest house, but what they would find would make them want to leave immediately. The symptoms started appearing when young Natalie would come down for breakfast and Darren would see bruises on her legs. He didn't think too much of it at first. Kids bump and bruise themselves all the time. But when new sets of bruises would appear where the last ones healed, he knew something was very wrong. It's only natural to worry about your children, any parent will tell you that. Darren cared a lot for his daughter and only wanted what was best for her well-being. Natalie had always struggled with her parents' separation. Darren always felt guilty about what effects it had on her development. When Darren first started getting serious with Pam, he knew he wouldn't forget about his daughter. Darren looked after the needs of his daughter very closely and because of it, the two had a very close bond. But Natalie began changing when Darren met Pam and she moved in with them. Darren was always open with Natalie and told her she could tell him anything, but throughout the year she'd become quieter, a lot quieter. Darren assumed it was because of her growing up and getting into her teenage years, but things only kept escalating. As time went on with Pam living with him, Darren noticed that the life was being sucked out of his daughter. He didn't understand why. He was worried that she spent too much time locked up in her bedroom by herself. Darren was worried about her being sucked into social media. He'd heard stories about that kind of stuff. But little did he know her social media pages were the least of his worries. Darren decided to ask Natalie about her change in behavior. She told him that she didn't like the way other rooms in the house felt. Darren didn't want to interfere with her life too much and felt confident that she would tell him if there were any problems. But he learned to regret that decision. Then he noticed something that had sirens blaring in his mind. Natalie was now on summer break and with temperatures climbing well above 90 degrees, she started wearing clothes that revealed her legs. Darren immediately noticed the marks on her legs and asked her about it. She just looked down at her feet and said that she'd woken up with them. Darren felt a bad feeling that just wouldn't go away. Anyone looking at the family from the outside would probably say things were perfect. Darren and Pam were happy and he had a great daughter, Natalie. But everything changed abruptly one day. Darren was woken up in the middle of the night by disturbing sounds. Natalie herself would eventually be the proof that would solve this mystery once and for all. Darren looked at his girlfriend and asked her if she was the one in Natalie's room at night and if she had anything to do with the marks that appeared on her legs. Pam was surprised to hear that Darren was asking her something this serious. She denied everything and Darren knew what he had to do. His decision would lead to a discovery that would shake his world. This was not the life Darren signed up for when he chose to be with Pam. He knew that she and her stepdaughter had never really seen eye to eye, but why wasn't she as concerned as he was or was he just being paranoid? Natalie was a model student and never went out to party like the other kids her age. She wasn't interested in sports and preferred to curl up with a good book and read her summer vacations away. And she wasn't dating, so where did the bruises keep coming from? As the weeks went by, every morning Darren would see more bruises appear on Natalie's legs. What was she doing in the night to receive these marks? And Natalie kept denying that she knew how she'd gotten them. What exactly was happening to his little girl? The worried dad had hundreds of questions running through his mind. But one thing was for sure, Darren knew something just wasn't right. And the marks weren't the only odd thing about Natalie. Now she never seemed to get enough sleep. She'd go to bed at 8 p.m. exhausted and only re-emerge from her bedroom at lunchtime the following day. She would pick at her food and hardly eat anything at dinner time and snap at Darren's most innocent questions when he showed concern. It was like Natalie was a different person. Darren was beginning to worry about Natalie's health. Perhaps she had some sort of medical condition? Now Pam, who just shrugged everything off, also began to appear concerned. Armed with a determination and driven by worry, Darren took Natalie to the doctor in hopes of finding out the truth. But what the doctor told him only left him with more questions. You see, Natalie didn't appear to have anything wrong with her. There was nothing strange or worrying about her results. The doctor checked her blood levels but couldn't find any deficiencies. 
Although Darren was relieved to hear that his daughter was healthy, this news meant that the cause of his daughter's bruises could be something far more sinister. And just when he was reaching his wit's end, there was a knock on the door. Darren opened the door only to see a woman with a stern look on her face standing on his doorstep. She tersely introduced herself and informed him that she was from social services. When Darren managed to wrap his head around what the woman was there for, he was in complete shock. This couldn't have something to do with Pam, could it? The woman who introduced herself as Mrs. Wood said that she was there to investigate a possible situation involving young Natalie and her parents. She had been made aware of Natalie's inexplicable marks by her family doctor. Darren's mind began to race. He hadn't done anything. He'd never ever lay a hand on his child, but unfortunately for him, there was no way he could prove otherwise. Mrs. Wood would simply have to speak to Natalie herself. Mrs. Wood introduced herself to Pam and Natalie and then entered the girl's bedroom, making sure to lock the door behind her. Pam shot Darren a look. What's the meaning of this? She asked furiously. But before Darren could explain, she'd already stormed off. Darren paced nervously in the hallway while the social worker spoke with Natalie in private, wondering what would happen next. Surely she wouldn't get much more out of his daughter than he had. Would Natalie finally tell the truth? After what seemed like hours, Mrs. Wood finally emerged from the bedroom with Natalie by her side and she was in tears. With a mixture of anger, sadness and frustration, Darren gritted his teeth and politely asked the social worker if there was anything else he could do for her. He was furious by the insinuations this woman was throwing around and now she'd made his daughter cry. But the burning question that was on his mind was what exactly had Natalie told her? Mrs. Wood told Darren that she'd be in touch and showed herself out while Darren tried to comfort Natalie. I told her what I told you, Dad, she sobbed. Every morning I wake up with marks and I don't know how they got there. He'd taken her to the doctor and they'd run blood tests. He'd asked her what was going on directly. He even accused his girlfriend. Darren was at a loss and becoming more desperate by the minute. Something just wasn't adding up here. He vowed that he'd find out what it was, but did he really want to know the answer? Things had become tense between Darren and Pam since the accusations were hurled, and he was determined to get to the bottom of everything for Natalie and his relationship with Pam's sake, so they all decided to set up a camera in Natalie's room to find out what had been happening once and for all. The CCTV revealed the truth, but neither of them was ready for the discovery. Darren set up the CCTV with a mission, to find out who was responsible for the bruises on his daughter. Darren had been so convinced that it was Pam because nobody else lived there. He made sure that whoever had been doing this would be exposed, even going as far as purchasing a night vision camera. He was hell-bent on putting a stop to everything. When he finally saw the perpetrator on the video, he never thought that their life would soon become a nightmare. Darren could feel his heartbeat in his throat. At first, it was just Natalie lying peacefully in her bed and her hands still cradling the book she'd been reading when she'd fallen asleep. Thirty minutes passed and nothing looked out of the ordinary. Then suddenly, Darren saw something on the footage and his jaw came unhinged. This had to be some kind of joke. Suddenly, Natalie seemed to wake up but she didn't look like herself at all. He continued watching the rest of the footage to find out more, but what he saw next challenged his theories and shook his beliefs. You see, in the footage it showed a peaceful Natalie sleeping in her bed, but 30 minutes in, Natalie appeared to be crawling on her back. Darren suddenly felt sick to his stomach. He blinked thinking he was seeing things on the footage, but he wasn't. This was real. Natalie thrashed in her bed. The movement she made looked weird and unnatural. What was going on? As soon as Darren saw this, he knew something was very wrong. Darren frantically yelled for Pam and showed her the footage and she was equally astonished and horrified. They had no idea what had been going on. What had happened to their little girl? They finally had the answer as, as to where her daughter's marks were coming from, but after watching the footage they were left with even more questions. Darren ran to Natalie's room but everything was normal again. She didn't remember what had happened last night at all. The worried parents rush bewildered Natalie back to the doctor. They showed him the footage and he was dumbfounded. He'd never seen anything like it before. Darren's mind immediately flew to horror movies about demonic possession that he'd seen. It was crazy, but what else was he supposed to think? What was wrong with his daughter? Their GP referred Natalie to a specialist who ran a battery of tests on her. He conducted a thorough neurological exam and ordered a full polysomnogram with an EEG to measure the electrical activity in her brain. He ruled out a tumor and head trauma, so what was causing Natalie's strange nighttime behavior? The specialist found some abnormal brain activity on the EEG that seemed to be coming from Natalie's temporal lobe, which indicated that Natalie could be suffering from temporal lobe epilepsy. It was reasonable to assume that this was causing her to have nocturnal episodes or seizures. According to the research, there are many different types of seizures, but most nocturnal seizures are tonic-clonic. Doctors used to call tonic-clonic seizures ground mal seizures. They typically last less than five minutes. 
During this type of seizures, muscles stiffen and twitch, which explains what Darren had seen on the footage. Natalie was prescribed anti-seizure medication and has made a full recovery, but Darren still had the house cleansed by a priest, just in case.